but joy is in the journey. Yes, I know that quote did not originate from Phineas and Ferb, but the context in which it was said fits perfectly with this video. In the Wizard of Odd episode, which I'd show in the background if not for a high chance of getting a DMC copy claim, the kid's mom, Linda Flynn Fletcher, says to Candace, All this time the boys were only trying to show you the fun way to go. The joy is in the journey, you know. To which Candace replies, So you're telling me that I could have had fun throughout this entire adventure if only I stepped off the yellow sidewalk and joined my doofus brothers? Is that it? Linda answers, On the nosy. Loosen up, sweetheart. Remember to have fun along the way. So aside from the fact that Phineas and Ferb is one of my favorite cartoons, what does this have to do with me? If you look at my YouTube channel, you'll notice that most of my most popular videos are guides. You'll also notice that overall, going all the way back to the beginning, most of my videos are guides for various games I've played the last several years. Sprinkled in are some reviews, discussions of updates for games, and a few other gaming-related videos. I even have a second channel that follows the same script, but for a different game. So what? I make guides, people seem to find them useful, everyone is happy, right? Not so much. Getting back to the quote that started this video, the last few years making these videos haven't always been fun. In fact, it's safe to say that for much of that time, especially more recently, there's been less and less fun. This had nothing to do with the game I was creating guides for, rather the process in which those guides were made. YouTube is essentially a race to be first, even if the content is not the best. While I've always made sure to create the best possible videos, it's a race to be first. The first video on any topic is likely to get the most views. Once you watch a video on a topic, especially if it's a guide video, it's highly unlikely you'll watch a second or third or fourth video on the same topic. In order to win the race, and in my case still strive to make the best possible video, there was only one way to do that. Rush through new content or a new game as fast as possible. There is no joy in that journey, there is very little fun along the way. I can honestly say that some of my negativity around a certain game was a result of rushing through every new update. It wasn't until the game was finished and I didn't have access to the new content first that I was able to take a step back and enjoy playing it again. That first week was the most fun I've had with that particular game in more than a year. The most fun I've had with games the last year have been when I wasn't making guides for them or streaming them. Loons TD6, Dismantle, Omno, Slay the Spire, The Wild at Heart, Tinykin, and Vampire Survivors are some of those games. There was no rush to complete them, there was no backseat gaming while playing them. They were just fun to play, and that's what video games are all about. I'd be lying if I said I didn't enjoy making YouTube videos and streaming. The former is what I'm known for at this point, but the kind of videos I make has to change. This may sound selfish, but I've been thinking about this for quite a while for another reason. A few months ago, I stumbled upon a video by Josh Drive Hayes called Have Guides Ruined MMOs? I don't play MMOs, but the central theme of the video applies to all types of video games. Basically, guides ruin the experience, they reduce or completely eliminate the joy of the journey. The best part of playing a video game is experiencing it with no idea what's to come. Nowadays, there are video guides on YouTube and wikis for nearly every game as soon as they release. Get stuck on a puzzle or boss? No problem, the solution or best strategy is only a click away. I can't speak for you, but for me, solving a puzzle or defeating a boss on my own is far more rewarding and fun than looking up how to do so. Guides also reduce the time it takes to complete a game. When I was growing up, we only had friends to rely on for help, or maybe a monthly gaming magazine for some tips and tricks. It took weeks to finish games that would now only take hours to finish. It took months to discover all the secrets in games. Finding every secret exit in Super Mario World when I was a kid was an amazing feeling. Now you can just reference a walkthrough to unlock them all. Guides haven't just removed the fun of games, they've also reduced experimentation. Need to know the best weapon or armor for facing a boss? There's no more trial and error, there's a guide for that. Just use the meta setup. In co-op games, if you don't use the meta gear, you'll often be shunned. Even in single player games, if you don't do things the quote unquote right way, you'll be laughed at or scolded by some. Watch any stream for a larger content creator and you'll see the chat flooded with messages about what gear to use or how to level up fastest. I know it's hard to bite your tongue when you see someone playing the wrong way or missing the obvious. Unless they ask for help, let them figure it out themselves. But I digress. Right now, I'm basically known for creating gaming guides on YouTube. They've helped grow my channel from just a few thousand subscribers to over 46,000 in the last year. I'm grateful they've helped so many of you and earned a sub from some of you. The safest strategy for me right now will be to find a new game and make guides on it. I've already had people ask if I'll be doing guides for Valheim when it hits consoles in the spring. Others have asked what's my next game. There will be no in-depth Valheim guides, there is no next game. Honestly, nothing on the horizon checks off the boxes of a game I see myself sticking with for more than a few weeks. Nightingale looks like it could be amazing. I've been waiting for Hytale for years. Blizzard is working on a survival game as well. I'll probably play all those games at some point, but I won't be blowing through them to make guide videos. So what type of videos will I be making? Videos like this will be in the mix going forward, where I look at a topic and break down the positives and negatives of it. Doing deep dives into the success or failure of a game, developers, platforms, or related topics are planned. Two types of videos I've done on this channel will also continue either here or on my second channel. 
They are the worth your time videos and the things I wish I knew sooner videos. For those that haven't watched any of those videos, they are essentially reviews for games and tips and tricks that are high level and shouldn't spoil the experience. I believe this path forward will allow me to continue to provide useful content for you and let me have fun doing it. The plan for 2023 is to try many different video games and I'll be posting videos on many of those on my second channel. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out. Some of those games may be featured on this channel along with the other type of content I mentioned earlier. For those of you that stick around for the coming year, and for those that this will be the last video of mine you watch, thank you.